My name is Sherry Davis. I am a patient at Grand Lawn Hospital. And my emotional story started January 26th of this year. So they reeled me up to my room and that's when I met Jamie, my nurse. She did all my blood pressure, everything to check me in. She had cold hands, but they felt so good on my arms. I, I told her I love your cold hands. She goes, but I have a warm heart. So that was the beginning of a relationship that I built with her. About 11.30, they sent my husband home because he chose not to stay the night. I began to get nervous because I was still processing. So I asked Jamie if she could just listen to me for a few minutes so that I could tell her what I knew. She said yes, brought a chair and listened. She came in many times just to check on me throughout the night. That night I hardly slept. That morning, my room was room 212, so I was way in the back, and I saw the most beautiful sunset, or sunrise, over the mountains. There was still snow on the mountains, and she came in right before the end of her shift, and I was crying because I had seen something so pretty, and we started talking about, we had talked about children the night before, and we talked about children again, and she left for, you know, we said goodbyes, she left for her shift and she came back about 8.30 and said, I forgot to show you pictures of my girls, which was something that I had asked her if she had any pictures. And so she took the time after she was off her shift to come back in my room and give me something so personal. It amazes me how much my doctors have cared and how much these nurses and CNAs and the anesthesiologists and everybody cared for Sherry. I think that this entire process has made me slow down and begin to take care of me a little bit more and put me a little bit first, all women take care of everybody else except for ourselves and I hope this doesn't happen to anyone else to the extent that it happens to me so I hope people learn from my story too I'm not even gonna know what to do with myself when I'm not in pain I can't wait until that day that I'm not in that pain every day I think that it will make me enjoy more outdoor things a lot more not fishing sorry husband but more <laughs> outdoor things it will make me happier because I don't have these emotion roller coasters of emotions coming in and out and I know that I can't have children but that doesn't mean that we cannot adopt I know that my life will be so much better in so many aspects. I know that come June 11th, I will be in a lot of pain, but it will be the beginning of the new journey for me.